Hello, this is George with Watchman German Shepherds. We're going to start a series of breeding videos. And so I have with me this morning Prada. Prada came into her season or her heat, uh, we call it, uh, last week. And so typically, if you count from the first day, uh, 9, 11 days, sometimes 14, depending, uh, that's usually a good rule of thumb. And so the best way to know when the heat cycle starts is by a wiping of the female and check for blood, right? So, down, blots, 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 lever, down, down, whatever, down, bit, clutter, bit, blots, blots. Good, good. Yeah, they might give you a little thing there. I've certainly done this with Prada more than once. And so what you do is you just Get in there. I can see she's swollen. I know from last week, as I said, that she's in heat. And you see the blood there on the bounty towel. And so that process, um, typically, as I said, uh, from, from when they first saw it, and it'll actually you wipe them in, it'll be pink, very light red. And then uh, it gets darker and darker. and Sometimes more, sometimes less. Sometimes they uh, get very messy and sometimes not so messy. Prada is not too bad, really. So, but the thing is, as far as breeding, uh, ovulation uh, takes place at a certain point uh, during the cycle. Uh, and typically, it's no problem if you have a male on site, he will know when it's time. The female, uh, she also will know and will be willing uh, to, what we say, stand, like she'll be in standing heat, where she's receptive to the male. Um, a few days prior to that, uh, the females will be playful, but they will not allow the male to mount them. <clears throat> and so, also, uh, an experienced male, uh, she may be flirtatious, and yet he'll know from the scent uh, that it's not time, so he may play with her in that, you know, flirty type way. If you see it, that's just what it is. It's like a little courtship uh, that goes on with them. Um, then he, at a point when she ovulates, he'll know from, I have to think from the smell, and so the hormone, the steroid progesterone, uh, once that reaches a certain level, uh, then they know that ovulation has taken place, and uh, typically they say it can be between 10 and 30. If you go, you have the dog's uh, blood drawn, the female's blood drawn, and they check for the progesterone level, and typically ovulation takes place between 10 and 30, although it can be higher, 40 and 60, so it's not the same with every female. And so the thing becomes that sometimes the female is not receptive to the male, even though she ovulated. And then uh, sometimes it's just a simple matter of assisting a little bit. Uh, sometimes that doesn't work either. And so it uh, can be some uh, complications there uh, that for who knows whatever reason there, the female uh, does not want to stand for the male, even though she's ready. Um, and so it could be an age thing or it could just be, uh, you know, an individual thing there. So there's different things that we as breeders do. Uh, we can assist uh, or we can uh, bring the dog to the vet, and, or both dogs, male and female, and they do artificial insemination. Uh, that happens a lot more than you may think. Um, and so I always tell people for the first few years of breeding, I had no problems whatsoever. Each breeding, every you know, male, female, everybody was on time, and uh, everybody was on the same page, and I had successful breedings. And all of a sudden, I had a female that had mated uh, with my male, but she didn't get pregnant. Then the next female, she didn't get pregnant. Then one more, a third female, had mated uh, with my male. And she didn't get pregnant either. Well, guess what? Of course, I took the male to the vet to see what was going on because I knew it was a problem with him at this point. 
it uh, turned out that he had some type of injury or maybe the vet said he could have got a flu or something for a day, um, but he had zero, zero semen. And so um, they, we tried a few things, but it was just beyond correction there. So just saying that to say that just like with people, there can be different complications there, right? So of course it has to start with the actual mating and hopefully there are no complications after that, as was the case with my male. Uh, but sometimes the mating, again, and this is really my point, uh, can be a little more complicated where you have to assist a little bit there, calm down the female, hold her, and let the male do what he's got to do there. And so a lot of it really comes down to, and this is something I learned, the timing, and the timing is only known really by the progesterone. Like today I showed you, the wife, the female, you can see she's a little swollen when they come in to eat, that's what happens. Um, and I can know I can know the first day that she uh, starts that part of her heat, right? And then from there, from the first day that she swipes pink, then from there, as I said, 9, 11, 14 days, typically she's going to ovulate. Some I've had uh, 20 days. The last one I had 18 days. And so it's not always that 9, 11, 14 day thing, but it's a good rule of thumb. I wouldn't want to wait more than 9 days because if the female does ovulate, um, then you, and you're not checking her or you, she's not tying with the male for whatever some of those reasons uh, that goes on an individual uh, dog may not want to, like last time actually Prada and Victor, I left them together um, for a few days there and she didn't get pregnant. He never actually, uh, he never made it with her. And so um, th that is, that's just something that can occur, right? So she's in heat again, we're going to see with her and Victor, uh, the thing with checking for uh, checking her to see when the season starts. And now the big, big thing is me to take her, I'm gonna take her next week, uh, today's Saturday, I'm gonna take her next week and I'm gonna have her progesterone check. Then we're going to know, one or two times getting her progest progesterone check, we're going to know when she is ovulating. And once that happens, that's the time. That's the ideal time for the mating. And so they mate typically, uh, maybe three, four days in a row, or, the, or should I say, uh, not so much that they make three or four days in a row, but the female uh, uh, will be receptive and it will be a good time as far as uh, when ovulation occurs. And so once ovulation does occur, you certainly want to have the female uh, mated to your male. And so, as I said, it's not always, uh, you know, uh, as simple as the birds and the bees there, right? Sometimes a little more... Uh, complicated for different reasons and again uh, just like with people right so anyway we'll we'll do a, a series here with Prada and we'll keep up with that we'll show the actual mating and the methods there whatever we have to resort to um, I do if the last time and this is just uh, an important fact too here last time I left them together well since then a breeder told me no don't do that you know, let the male get all ready, right? So even though if the female's a little reluctant, she doesn't know what's going on, and that's really uh, what is going on. The female doesn't know what's going on, even though it's a very natural thing from the beginning of time, obviously. Um, she still doesn't know what's going on, and so if the male gets discouraged, he tries, he can't uh, get done what he's trying to get done, uh, he gets tired, he gets run down, he gets discouraged, and that, I believe, is what happened to Victor. So a breeder had another breeder friend that recently told me to keep them apart, and when you let them together, really, he's going to be all ready, right? So that's what we're going to do after I get her progesterone checked and put them together and then separate them for at least a day, and then Victor will be presumably all ready to go. And so, and so we'll cry. And so that's, uh, that's it for now on this video. Thank you for subscribing and sharing and liking. If you have any questions, again, this uh, particular series is going to be on a breeding German Shepherd. And we're going to go through the whole thing with Prada here and the whole process. And so, uh, so today we swiped her there and she's...
definitely in heat, and that will culminate in her ovulating and then being fertilized by Victor. I trust the Lord, and then puppies, voila. And so, well, thank you again, and uh, please do subscribe if you have not already. Uh, the Lord bless you today. Good girl, Friday. Good girl, come, come.